Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and I know I messed up last month when I said that Ad Infinitum's new album dropped a month ago. It didn't. It's today. And that's a good thing. Also, with the drop of the new album, brand new video, brand new song. Uh, they've been teasing us on social media with a lot of water and Melissa Bonnie and members of the band dancing in the rain. And uh, not hating it. Just saying. I'm going to be honest. This one's called Eternal Rains. My name is Old School Nerd. You're not ready, but I'm doing the reaction anyway. Let's go. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all the social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to support the channel. We appreciate all of you. Check us out on the Old School Nerd store, which is on the website. Got all new merch. Yeah, cool stuff. Even some Cajun stuff for you. All right, here we go. All of Ad Infinitum's information will be in the description below. Thank you so much to Napalm Records for all your support as I do these reactions for these amazing Napalm artists. All right, long time coming. We're glad the album is here. We'll be listening to it on repeat for quite a bit. And with that, here's my reaction to Eternal Reigns. <laughs> you guys suck. I'm going to start up the verse again. Don't worry. I just want to get my first initial thoughts. I love the song. I heard it earlier today when I was driving to go drop off my daughter. But it's the first time I'm seeing the video. Um, the great modern day philosopher Dave Grohl said, um, every band, if you're going to tour Europe or if you're from Europe, you know that you have to have a crowd jump song. Okay. It's a song that has a particular beat that allows the crowd to do this. And this is specifically what Dave Grohl says. It's that jump song. That's the kind of song that Alyssa can run up and go, everybody jump with me, one, two, three, jump. And then everybody jumps. It's a hype up song, but they only did it for like the first two or three lines to let that crowd get in there. She got into that groove with that chorus, very passionate storytelling, um, four on the floor classic style. There's nothing too out of the ordinary in the rhythm section. It is a good crowd song. So in a live performance, this one's gonna pop. It's gonna have a lot of crowd um, fulfillment. You can expect her during that little, that music, that musical segue between the chorus and the verse to really interact. It's gonna connect with people. Yeah, this is, this is a great live show song. Are there more elaborate storytelling songs in the new album? <laughs> Absolutely. Are there more intricately designed rhythm sections? Obviously. But this is the song in the live set. Everyone's in. Everyone's in. And I dig it. All right, let's get to the second verse.
that harsh tag into that chorus pop, the crowd's arms are just going to go up and people are just going to jump. At, how do you not? How do you just not get in? People don't realize, and I've, I've gotten to see videos, I have not seen Ad Infinitum live. It's on my list. Feuerschwanz, um, Ad Infinitum, there's so many Napalm artists that I've gotten to see that have really just captivated my imagination, and then there are some that I haven't had a chance to. This is one of those bands where, similar to a Sabaton show, I feel like Sabaton, even though it's a massive show and there's all this storytelling going on, the members of Sabaton, whether it be Tommy or Chris or Joachim, even Pear, connect with the audience individually throughout the show on purpose because they want everyone to know that they're in. I have, I've seen videos where the crowd interacts the same way with Ad Infinitum as they're telling their stories. There's just a connection, not just between Melissa and the audience, but all the members really take the time to engage with the crowd. And when you have songs like this, that tell stories like this, that connect with people personally, and you can get that personal interaction. Yeah, that's why this album from Ad Infinitum is gonna connect beyond just what it normally does. All of their albums are great. All, of, all three of these uh, chapters have been outstanding in the story time, the lineage of the levels of story they're telling, all the way back from you know, March on Versailles, the first time I ever saw them, I went, man, there's something different about this band. And it's not just Melissa. Yes, Melissa is very unique and wonderful. And we love what she does for the, for the genre and for her band and what she does for other bands. And that's all great. But this Ad Infinitum group, just the way they put this all together and created something that is so unique in their storytelling that does not sit in a particular genre that says, oh, they're only for this type of metal. They're only for this type of metal audience. They have an extremely broad appeal. They have instances in their different songs of their albums that connect to the darker sides, more intricate metalcore people, some of the more um, deeply symphonic storytelling sides, but they also have a very, because of Melissa's very vulnerable, rich tone, and the fact that she can harsh vocal, and the fact that when she, her voice has a, has a tone of sincerity, sometimes, Vocalists are so powerful, so angelic, so over the top, it's hard to equate them as a person. You think of them, oh, a diva, a goddess. Melissa has all the tools to be one of those things, but because of the way she sings, because of the way her tone is relatable, because of the stories they're telling, and just the way she comes across personally as a human, you don't just want to be her fan. You want to be her friend. You want, you, you can feel what she's telling you isn't just a performer performing for a crowd. It's a friend telling a story for you. That's how it comes across. And I don't know if Melissa's going to see this reaction, but I know her fans will. And if you're an Ad Infinitum fan and you've seen the show live and you've met this band live and you follow Melissa's uh, social media and you follow all of her friends and bandmates and how they, how they carry themselves as both people and musicians, you realize that you get that too. Ad Infinitum doesn't come across as some metal band that's unapproachable. They come across as a group of amazing, amazing people that happen to be just like you and me going through everything that you and I go through and they get to sing about it and we get to share in it. That's the one thing about Ad Infinitum that makes them unique. There are so many other bands that I could say, oh, they're harder, they're more aggressive, they're more progressive, their musicianship is way over here. But when you go too far, you're not as relatable as people. Ad Infinitum, to me, has always been the people's band. Does that make sense at all? Like, like, if you were to look at them like they're the team you root for, you know, they're not, you know, they're the underdog in the World Cup. They're, they're that team that you're like, I, I know they're not the biggest team in the world. And I know they don't have the, you know, they, they're not world famous like, you know, these other mega soup. They're not Metallica, right? But you cheer for them because they're not. You cheer for them because to you, the way they, the way they tell their story, the way they present their music, the way they present themselves as people you know it's genuine and you know it's real 
And and I think that's one of the reason why when I when I speak to people that know her who have talked to her, they tell you how amazing of a person she is, how amazing all the members of Ad Infinitum are. It's kind of like when I met Bloodywood the first time. Bloodywood are international superstars, probably the biggest independent band in the world. They're being courted by everybody right now, everybody. And I meet those guys, and when you talk to them, you realize, oh my God, everything they say in their songs, it's really them. It's authentic. And that's how Ad Infinitum comes across to me. We're going to let this song play the rest of the way out. I know I've rambled a little bit. But with this album coming out today, and this, I believe this is possibly my 10th or 12th song I've reacted to Ad Infinitum, I, I love this band, and I wanted to make sure everyone knew why. Are the songs great? Yes. But it is more than just the songs. It's the people. It's the message. It's the way they carry themselves. It's the connection. It's the community. The band is not a band. The band is a community. And you can tell by their fans. When I make these reactions, Ad Infinitum fans will message me and go, awesome reaction. You get it. I hope I do. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, but yeah, there's something special about these these four people that that transcend just a label or their music. They, they are real people. And for that, I'm thankful. And if they see this, they know. They know how I feel. Let's, let's finish it up. Sorry. Sometimes when I get caught up in these bands and I, I talk to these people and their fans connect with me and I'm connecting with the fans and I'm connecting with the band's message and stuff, sometimes I have to take a moment to stop and just share with all of you because that's what I do. I'm a reactor. But part of this whole old school nerd thing is to tell you what I really think. And this is how I feel about it. Let's finish it up. Oh, that rhythm is good right there. What a vehicle for that solo. All right, my second favorite thing I love about Ad Infinitum. When they go to do a guitar solo, the, the soloist is not out there by himself. The rhythm section goes with him, gives him a perfect support bed for that guitar solo. Wicked rhythm, nice syncopation, good runs on the toms and, and on the cymbals. That's a team right there. And I dig it. All right, happy album release day to Ad Infinitum. I know it's chapter three, the downfall, but I gotta be honest with you. Uh, how can you be downfall when all you're doing is going up? All right, um, yeah, let's, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, authenticity is my favorite part of this band. Genuine connection with the message. They come across not only as an amazing band, but amazing people, and that's why I'm here for this. My name is Old School Nerd. This was, uh, yeah, Eternal Reigns, the, the new single from the brand new album, Chapter 3, Downfall from Ad Infinitum. So, so honored to get to react to these, uh, to these amazing musicians, this amazing group. And for their fans, if you're an Ad Infinitum fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I thank you for your time. Sorry I rambled a little bit, but this band makes me feel good about the things of the world. I mean, there are so many things out there that make you feel negative. Bands like Ad Infinitum, even with an album called Downfall, you're like, well, 
It ain't so bad because <laughs> it's not because we have bands like this. And with that, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.